Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is April 23rd, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by about two points. Right now, they're at 29, 14 and a half per contract. All in all, you can see the futures have had a little bit of a downtick over the last 15 or 20 minutes. We're not going to make too much about that, and we'll just see how this market plays out. In the meantime, we have tons of earnings being released today. We really are in the heart of earnings season, so let's get started here. We're going to start the day off with Whirlpool, WHR. Uh, that stock right now is trading at 146.55, closed at 139.38, so good pop for Whirlpool. It has pulled back off of its morning highs. I'm going to try to have some gap levels ready to go for this stock this morning. But Whirlpool now pulling into the 146 level. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Next up, I want to take a look at Twitter, TWTR. Twitter right now, big social media company, trading at $36.70, closed at $34.39. So good little uptick there. I'm going to give it a slight upside bias right here because I think the stock is still holding up and acting pretty well at the moment. I'm going to have some gap levels ready to go for Twitter today. So again, we'll look for a little bit more upside in that name. If you own it, trail the stop loss, but do look for more upside. Uh, if you don't own it, I kind of leave it alone here. We'll look at it again once the opening bell rings. It could be a fade opportunity if it does go a bit higher. So again, come on over, check out the intraday stock chat room. We'll have Twitter as a gap play today. Next up, we want to take a look at Lockheed Martin, LMT. Is the ticker symbol here? Stock is trading at $332. Uh, closed yesterday at $315.36. So this is a monster pop after earnings. When I look at the chart, though, I have to think we're definitely getting to overbought conditions here. So if you own this one, trail the stop loss immediately. If you don't own it, I would probably leave it alone at this stage of the game. I have to think that um, we are probably bumping up into very good resistance as at the higher this climb. So be a little bit aware of that. Again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone. Next up, we want to take a look at Hasbro. H-A-S is the ticker symbol here. This is the toy maker, game maker. Company, right? Oh, the stock, I should say, is trading at 99.01. Briefly got above the 102 level. I'm going to have levels for this ready to go in the intraday stock chat room as well. So again, we'll be watching Hasbro today. Good pop, though, ahead of the opening bell. Let's take a look at Pulte Homes uh, stock right now is trading at $31.40, closed at $30.23. So good little uptick there for Pulte Home. I think this is another one that's a bit extended here at this stage of the game. Be careful if you own it. Trail the stop loss if you don't own it. Leave it alone. I would not be a buyer up here at these levels. Here we have Coca-Cola. KO is a ticker symbol. Stock briefly got above the $49 level, now pulling back to around $48.50. When I look at this name, I think we're getting a bit stretched. But look at the daily chart here. Got a monster gap window there. That's kind of where we went up to in the pre-market. Again, that should still be very, very good resistance here for Coca-Cola if we get to that 49.50, 49.60 level today. Next up, we want to take a look at United Technologies. UTX is the ticker symbol there. Stock is trading at $140.25. Closed at $136.95. Great little pop there. This is another equity that is overbought. When you look at, say, a bigger time frame, we'll use a weekly chart for this, you're going to see you're into a ton of resistance here as we get up towards the 144 level. So again, if you look at the pre-market action today, uh, you'll see we got to 143, backed off. Again, when you get to 144, you got a huge double top there. So there's definitely resistance in play. Let's take a look at JetBlue, GBLU is uh, jblu is the ticker symbol there stock is trading at 1721 closed uh, yesterday at 1683 so good little pop there a level i have for JetBlue today if it gets there would be around 1875 that would be i think a shorting opportunity or fade uh intraday fade opportunity um there's going to be a lot of resistance around 1775 because that's just a daily chart 200 period moving average so again uh, there's some resistance there but 1875 would be a fade opportunity. So keep that on the radar and we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings today. Let's take a look at Sherwin-Williams. Uh, ticker symbol is SHW. Stock is getting hit a little bit today. Closed yesterday at $451.89. Now trading at $445. Was much lower. Did come back off those lows. So we'll keep that, that one on the radar. If this one gets down to around 124 uh, 424 423 I do like the stock there for 
quick bounce play. Again, it is a little bit on the lighter volume side, so you got to be careful with stocks that trade on less than a million shares a day. They can overshoot levels. Next up, we want to take a look at GES, GES. Stock right now is trading at 16.75. That's exactly where it closed. Nothing to do there. Let's take a look at Rambus. I'm dating myself here. Those of you that traded back in the 90s probably remember this company. Uh, trading at $11.20 this morning. Closed at 11.80. I don't think there's much to do. We have to take a look at Hormel Foods, HRL. Looks like this was downgraded by both Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. Stock is trading at 38.78. So good little haircut there. I think we're probably nearing some support, but again, um, some of these food stocks, processed food stocks, have been under pressure recently, so want to be a little bit careful there. I'll try to have a level for you guys in the morning chat room. All right, with that being said, let's go over to the gold market. Gold futures today trading down $8.80. If you take a look at the GLD, um, <clears throat> again, that is coming back in pretty nicely. Uh, gold has been declining now for the last... I'm going to say two to three months. So, again, steadily falling. Gold still looks weak on the charts. This could trade down to 119 today on the GLD. Next up, we want to take a look at crude oil, up another 25 cents to $65.81 a barrel. So, all in all, when you look at uh, the oil market, we'll use the USO for that. Um, that is holding up very, very well. Gold, on the other hand, not doing so terrific. So, again, we'll see how this plays out. If you have not done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We're having a great 2019. Earnings season is back. Volatility is starting to tick up a little bit. So get ready. Lots of morning action here. And, again, with that being said, we're having a great 2019. So come alongside of us and join us uh, by taking that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Have a great trading day, and we'll see you a little bit later on the charts.